Okay guys, so today ang gagawin natin is bubuin natin yung payroll through using the Excel format eh, ng mas mabilis. So, di ba ang unang-unang reklamo nyo, masyadong mahaba. So, ang gagawin muna natin, para at least hindi masyadong mahaba, gawa tayo ng cross, yung, uh, I mean yung maguhugpong sa bawat isa. Okay, ang tawag dun is cross. So, meron na tayong maguhugpong, ayun, yung maliit na portion. Kaya tayo, hindi ko makuha, masyadong maliit. Ayun yung maliit na portion na yun. And then, gagalawin natin yung crease. Okay? Gagalawin natin yung crease. Ayan. Para at least, pag ginalaw ko siya, ayan, makikita mo pa rin yung pangalan ng ta. Okay. Next na gagawin natin is, gagawa tayo ng formula para sa lahat. So, meaning to say, dito tayo start. Gawa tayo ng formula para pag nagko-compute tayo, mabilis na mabilis pa. So, itong formula na to ay ikakpractice lang natin since meron na tayong totoong formula na ginawa. So, hanggang dulo. Ayan. So, meron na tayong formula. So, mamaya na natin lagyan ng guhit para at least um, ma madali or hindi maka makaka-affect na ng ulo. Okay. So, ayan. Tanggalin muna natin yung guhit. Para at least kung magka-paste man tayo, hindi nakaka-affect yun. So, sa pag... Ibig... Unahin natin yung mga deductions. Sa pag-ibig naman, 100 lang. So, copy-paste na lang natin hanggang 1 to 10. Para at least yung computation natin. Tama. Okay. Ayan. Gawa tayo ng space dito ha. Insert lang ako ng isa para at least hindi maka-affect dito sa computation. Sa pill health naman, nagbibay siya dito sa monthly. Times 3.5% uh, divided by 2. So, ang gawin lang natin equals open and close parenthesis. Ilagay natin dun sa monthly times or asterisk 3.5% So, nakikita nyo naman kung paano kong ginagawa. Iko-close ko divided by 2. So, yan yung formula. So, dahil may formula na tayo na ginawa, kaka-copy-paste ko siya from 2 to 10. Ayan. So, may formula na tayo. Okay. For the SSS naman, di ba kapag 25,000, maximum 1125. So, lahat muna ng maximum, 1, 1, 2, 5. Para mabilis. So, 1, 1, 2, 5. 1, 1, 2, 5. 1, 1, 2, 5. Ayan. 1, 1, 2, 5. So, yung the rest, kailangan natin ng table. So, hanapin natin yung table ng SSS para sa 23,000 sa ka 23,500. Ayan. So, ito yung nakaredy na yung ano, table. So, yung para sa 23,000, so dito tayo dito sa total para matuloy. So, total, 23,000 na yun. So, titinan mo yung 23,000 ay 1,035, yung 23,500, 1,057. Okay. Susulat natin. Sa 23,000 is 1,035. Sa 23,500, 1,057.5. Ayan. So, alin pa ba ang kailangan? So, yung 20,000, yung Canva SSC, yung 20,000. Yung SS ni 20,000 ay 900. Okay. So, 900. Yung SS ni 15,000. 15,000. 15,000 ay 675. 
675 and then yung SS na 18,000 18,000 ay 810 810 ayan so yan, so meron na tayong uh, way para ma-complete natin yung annual tax. For the annual tax, what we need to do is to first get the monthly and then we multiply it by 12. So, we use open and close parentheses in order to get the correct computation. And then, what we need to do is to deduct it to our we put again open and close parentheses so we will get our SSS contribution plus the bill health plus the pag-ibig and then we close it and then we multiply it by 12. So here's the computation for the uh, employee number one, so we just need to recap it. Okay, so copy, recap this one, and then recap it here. Okay, so next is when we are dealing with the annual tax, so what we are going to do is to uh, first uh, get the annual, so this time we will, we will put it here, so we will, we will get the annual, this one, the, the remaining or the taxable income, and then we deduct it, this equals to 7 minus 250,000 so here's the remaining amount so we open and close parentheses for this one because the remaining amount should be multiplied by how much by 20% so we multiply it by times 0.2 okay so after getting the annual tax, we divide it by 12. Ah, uh, by 12, right? So equals to this one divided by 12. So the annual tax of number one x one is 125.83 per month. So what we do here is to copy this in here. So those that are not earning not more than 400 400,000 uh, should be multiplied by 20% but those that are earning more than 400,000 should be multiplied by um, 25% and then the remaining 400,000 is 30,000 so, so after getting the annual tax uh, we already have the, the um, monthly tax so we can hide this three so hide we can hide this because uh, it is not part of the payroll and then what we are going to do now is to add all the total deduction so these are the total deduction um, to here so total deduction is 1633 and then copy highlight and then enter and then uh, we can now produce our net pay which is equals to the total payroll which we will complete later minus the 
to the reduction. And then, we are, what we are going to do is to copy paste this one. Okay? So that's it for the total deduction. Okay, next is, gawin natin ito. So, yung total natin is the same with the per month. So, pinapi paste ko lang. Inequals ko lang siya para kung ano man yung ilalagay ko dito. Dito bago yung sa kapilang sa kapilang. Okay. Yung per day natin ay, this is IMU, so 26 days. So, ang basis natin is 26. So, equals to ito divided by 26 days. So, ang per day ay na-compute. So, copy-paste lang, copy, then highlight, then enter. So, yun. So, meron na siyang computation. Same din with the per hour equals per day divided by 8 hours. Ayan. So, meron na siyang computation sa copy. And then, highlight. Enter. So, meron na siyang computation. Ayan. So, ang computation natin ngayon is the regular one. So, unahin muna natin ito tapos na to na gamit na natin ito. Trading is located in news. Okay. Una, uh, anong ba mas madaling gawin? Okay. Si employee 6 daw enjoy regular OT for 22 hours. So, hindi naman binanggit na one day lang siyang ginawa. So, 22 hours means 22 hours for one night. So, si number 6 so, kay number 6 tayo mag-doon muna. So, ang regular OT niya ay equals to yung per hour times 22 hours times 1.25%. So, meron siyang 183.7. Okay. Tapos, all are present during regular holiday. So, dapat may additional one day siya kasi kasama na yung ika 200% dito sa total eh. So, ang gagawin lang natin is to add at the, uh, one day pa dahil yun, pumasok silang lahat. So, i-enjoy lang nila yung per day nila. So, copy-paste na lang para at least makuha rin yung nandun sa video. So, enjoy all regular of the online present during holiday. Si EE9 naman, enjoys one day regular OT on the 8th of April, 5.01 in the afternoon till 2 in the morning. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5 hours, 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 hours, 4 hours. So, to sa regular OT niya, meron siyang... Open and close parenthesis natin. 5 times ito. Times 1.25. Close. Add uh, 4 hours times 86.54 times 1.25 times 1.25 para makuha natin yung ating OT. Okay? Sila uh, pumasok nung special holiday. Pero since holiday yan, may bayad pa rin yan kung nasa bahay. Okay? So, hindi lang nila na-achieve yung additional 30%. So, dito sa ano yan, special holiday so, for the special holiday, ang hindi daw mag -e enjoy nun or hindi pumasok during that day ay si 2, si 3, si 5, at saka si 9. So, umpisa na natin i-compute. Equals to per day multiplied by 0.3 multiplied by 2 days. So, yan. May sample computation na akong 
ginagawa. So, ikakabilis na lang natin doon sa mga nag-agay ng special oil. Okay, so that's it. We just need to compute all the overtime. So we have Matusam from regular OT up to the regular holiday. And then uh, we just copy and highlight the remaining and then enter. For the total payroll, so we need to add the regular salary plus the total OT that we have to get the total payroll. That's it. So we have now our total net pay for employee 1. Again, kung magpiprint ka, syempre payroll yan, kailangan po yung payroll. So, may way para gawin yan. So, instead na nakatayo, gawin mo siyang landscape. And then, uh, dun sa printing, yung page setup, gagalawin mo para mag Isa lang yung computation. And para magawa mo yan, ang pinaka-importante gawin mo yan is i-highlight mo lang yung print area. Yung kaninang ginawa na. Kasi kung hindi mo siya i-highlight, may possibility na maraming papel ang magagamit mo. So, sayang lang. So, again, this is Ma'am Ching.